have fried in here? Hey, for me? Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, you My wish. My birthday's not till August, man. You wish, man. It's actually, Miss Gardner in the office asked me to bring him down. It's uh, uh, somebody's birthday today. Lauren Biggs. Oh, oh. <laughs> You mean Lauren Beggs? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess it's Yeah, it. she's like 12 today or something. I think it's the 12th birthday. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Happy yeah. birthday, Lauren. Well, so, uh, is she in your class right now? No, she's not. You're about an hour early. Just put them on her desk over there. That'll be fine. Okay, I think cool. it's the third one down. Cool. All right. Hey, you know, you know, there's something I don't get about flowers here. Well, first of all, they don't even smell that good. I don't even think we should have flowers. I think we should get rid of flowers on all plants. They don't even smell that good. And the smell of them, you gotta stick your nose all the way in them. Oh, and you end up sneezing. Oh, that's the worst thing. You get, get everybody sick, spread your germs, spread your viruses and bacteria. And then, here's the worst part they're expensive. I don't wanna be paying all this money, buying all these flowers for everybody's birthday and Valentine's Day and anniversary. I'm not made of money here. Money should grow on these plants instead of these flowers. I'm sick of them. I don't, I don't see the point. I don't even think plants need flowers. You know, and I don't know. I, I think I should ask somebody because I don't, who needs the flowers? I don't even think plants need them. So I think I'm going to ask, uh, uh, y'all remember the bug man? Well, he's got a cousin down in Louisiana. Uh, they call him the flower man. I, I don't know. I think I'm going to ask him, see what the deal is here because I'm tired of him, really. Flower man, what, what's the deal here? Learn me something. Sounds like you need an attitude adjustment, Mr. Berkman. And it's not the flower man. They call me Daffodil Dan. All right, Flower Man sounds like I dance on a tutu. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's good to see well, you, though. Yeah, it's nice good to see you. you. Thanks for making the yeah, trip I miss you. from it's, old Louisiana. It's all right. You need, you need some help here, don't you? Help me out. I don't get it. You know what? I don't get it. You know, men have been giving flowers to ladies for eons and eons. Yeah, you where know do what? they think we are? Made of money? No. It, you know what? It's a great symbol of love. You know, a a woman wants you to do something nice for her every once in a while, and they love flowers in the middle of the table. Lauren's going to love these flowers in her room, probably by the window. They're going to be great. And you know what's really cool about flowers? Is we couldn't live without them. Why? We need yeah. flowers. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, what? I saw you eating lunch yesterday. What'd you have for lunch? Yesterday? Yeah. Uh, turkey sandwich. What, what else? Uh, uh, orange. An orange. And well, a granola see, bar. Right there, that orange that you ate is very important. What's it that comes to do with flowers? from a flower. It's not a flower. Oh, yeah, it's the fruit of a flower. It's like little baby flowers coming out of there. All right? You know, hey, take a deep breath. We feel that? Feels good. Yeah, that's good fresh air, that's isn't fresh. it? You know where you got that? Uh, from the flowers. Uh, well, the trees and everything else. But flowers give us the oxygen we need to breathe. It's important, hmm. Mr. Berkman. It's important that you All care right. about the flowers. I guess. All right. Hey, incidentally, do you know, you know what it takes to be part of the plant club? Uh, you got I, three requirements. If you're in it, I don't know if I want to be in the plant club. I'm not in it. Because you know why? What? I'm not one of them autotrophs. <laughs> I can't make my own food. Is that English you're speaking? Huh? Is yeah. that English? It's Latin. It's Latin oh. for photosynthesis. Oh. You got that one? Uh... You see, plants have to make their own food. All right, that's number one rule, right? Mm -hmm. The other thing to be in the plant club, you got to be multicellular, and you are. You <laughs> certainly are. And the other one is plants. Plants cells have to have a cell wall. All right. Uh -huh. Now that's to be in the club. But once you're part of the club, then there's some other things. You got to be able to get a hold of some water when you need it. You got to be able to hold on to that water when you got it, and you need to be able to reproduce. And that's where flowers, that's, that's where they have the advantage. Look how pretty those are. Look at those. You smell them too? Oh, yeah. You smell the bees love them, the birds love them. All right, they attract pollinators from all over the country to come make new flowers, which will give you the fruit that you need. Okay, eat your lunch. So how, how am I supposed to teach my students about all this? I don't even, I don't, how, what, what can I do to teach them about flowers? Flowers taste a lot better than celery, by the way. <laughs> well, let me show you. All right. Come on over here. Now, Mr. Pride leaves a messy room over here, so yeah, it's he nice does. to have some things here. All right. I, <clears throat> uh, you know what? 
You know, who, whose flowers were those? Uh, Lauren Begues. Be Begues. Oh, Begues. You know what? Yeah. I don't think she'd mind if we just took one out of there, would she? I think she, no, no, one oh, flower. You got take, a whole bouquet. Just take one out. She'll never even notice. All right, we got yeah, one right here. Take a small one. Take a small yeah, one. Yeah, just a little one. You won't, she won't even notice. So just fall just right there. All right, so what we got here is a beautiful flower. Can you see it? Get in Hold on a second. I always carry one of these in here. Can you see it? If you look through the, the hand lens, you can see it, and they're nice and close. Good. All right. Now, around the outside of the flower are these things called petals. Everybody knows about the petals? They're pretty. Yeah, they attract the bees and the birds, and they want to come, and they want to eat the nectar that's inside the flower there. It's sugary water, kind of. And then, <clears throat> right inside there, you see right in the middle, it's this thing called the pistol. Um, you have to pardon me for my rudeness, but that's the girl part of the flower, all right? And right underneath there, and underneath there is the ovules. It's the, it's the ovary of the plant. Ovules are down in there, all right? And then I don't know if you can see, if you look ringed around there inside the petals, are these things, <clears throat> they're called stamen. They've got two parts. They've got a filament and an anther. And uh, again, forgive my rudeness, those, those are the boy parts. Uh, so, you know, that my, we might want to cover it up a little bit. It's out there right now. Anyway, uh, those are the, the filament is, holds up the anther, which is where the pollen is. All right, so the little bee comes in the flower, and he looks in there, and uh, he eats the nectar, and he gets the pollen, and he flies away. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to pull some of these petals off so that we can get down in there. All right, ooh, I just broke it. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Not going to hurt the flower. All right. It's already dead. They, somebody pulled it out of the ground. All right. We're going to get you down in there nice and deep. We're going to take the petals, keep them intact, and we're going to glue them to our lab sheets. Okay? And then I don't know if you see here, we got the structure of a flower. And this is also in your book. You'll be able to look at your book and see the parts. You're going to label the parts on this paper. All right. And then... Uh, there's some more stuff to do here. You'll love this part, all right? There's some bad words on there like pistol and, and uh, other th ovary. There's some other things on there that will kind of get you going. But um, this will be this will fun, <laughs> this is a fun part. And then here, you're going to finish. After you're done, you're going you're gonna to stick the parts on there, okay? You're going to stick the, the stain in. Ooh, and I broke this one off. You're going to stick the stain in and you're going to stick the pistol on here. Um, I want you to look and find the xylem and the phloem. That's how stuff gets around in the flower. All right. So this ought to take you about the whole hour. But uh, it's really interesting to get you close to the flower so that you know what's going on in there and how important it is and how they make new flowers. All right? I think I can do that with my students tomorrow. All right. All right. Well, Thank you. You have a good day, Mr. Berkman.